So guys, something a little bit different uh, midway through doing this project, uh, my Dremel died and I've checked online. First of all, this is a five year old Dremel, so no warranty on it. Second of all, I got it as a gift from my father in law, so I don't even have the receipt for it. So there's nothing much I can do, uh, but uh, take it apart and try to fix it. I did some research online and I did find that these have a common problem and it's one of the wires from the coils that is uh, that breaks off so it's easily fixed but we are going to have to take this Dremel apart to do it so this is going to be my ever uh, my first ever fix video so let's try and fix this thing I'm going to start by removing uh, the brushes And let me bring something to put the stuff in. I've got some, supposed to have something. Where is it? Oh, uh, let's see, here we go. So, okay. I'm gonna put all the parts in so they wouldn't get lost. So these out, I've got four screws here. Let me see if I can find the right bit for them. Three, two, three and four. Now, now for the thing that actually breaks the, the warranty, if you had one which is removing the stickers here because these stickers hold on. So let's remove from this part. Okay, that's one side. I'm gonna remove them completely because I don't really need them. I hope this is really the problem. Okay, so, so far everything looks absolutely as advertised, so let's remove these two parts, these two plastic parts, they just click off. Um, I don't think I need to remove this part because there we go. Just disconnect this part. There we go. And we can disconnect this part. And as you can see, they come out as a hole. So I need to remove this though. So I don't remember seeing this is the, the switch assembly. And it's supposed to come out from there. So removing this rubber thing will let me take this part and this part out so let's see if the problem yes I already see it let me try and get you to see where the problem is as you can see there are four contact points uh, here uh, that the coils connect to one two three four and this one has broken this little wire so Easily fixed, let's go back to the table and do that. So to fix this problem, what I need to do is get this little clip out. Uh, I'll uncoil one turn from this uh, little wire and just reclip it again. Uh, if I'm already in here, I'm gonna look at the other wires, see that they're all okay. And they all seem to be just fine. So 
על אן קויל דיס אוקיי and then I'll have some extra wire to re-grab it so to grab the wire inside the clip I need to remove the clip from here and it just pops out as you can see and I'll just re-clip it so this is the little clip that I removed from the Dremel and as you can see or maybe not let's there is a little piece of wire sticking out and this is where the wire broke so just re-grab it in this little slit and push it back into its seat and that should fix the problem okay so now I'm wondering if they refocus before I come back to do it. No, I didn't focus anything. I've lost everything. So guys, let me back it up again. So guys, what I did basically is just re-slit the wire into the small clips and then uh, I gave it a little bit of a tug, a little bit of a pull, uh, which uh, severed the wire from the other end. Everything now looks to be connected and I'm reassembling the entire unit. I'm putting the shaft into the coils. I'm putting the switch assembly making sure that each pin goes into its corresponding place so there's contact all around uh, this is the switch unit don't forget to put in the rubber bushing here and I'm reattaching the control unit I think it's called and I'm putting it back in place that's really not that hard I think anyone can do that making sure everything fits back into place I'm going to re-grab the wire here making sure everything is in place yep so the wire clamp reattaching that Okay, that should be enough. Let's put in these two plastic pieces, like so. They're back in place. And I think what is there left to do but close the unit back up. Let's put in the four screws they're all the same size so it doesn't matter where they go let's give it a little bit more torque okay let's put the brushes back inside Make sure to put them obviously uh, in the direction of the spinning of the motor. That's one. Okay, that's two. Like so.
and that should be it. Let's connect it again to the electricity and see if that did the trick. Where is my... There we go. Uh, let's make sure that it's turned off before we do anything. What do you know? It works. Yep, works just as good as before. So that's it guys, that was a really short video. Uh, really easy to fix. Uh, I don't know, I saved myself buying a new tool and I've got my tool working again, so that's it guys, if you want to put back the stickers, we can do that. Whichever, which way they, okay. There we go. Just like new, yeah, we don't need the stickers. That's it guys, we can continue now with our project. Thank you for joining me for this a little bit out of the box uh, video. How to fix your Dremel if something like that happens to you as well. Have a nice one.